it is time to tell my comrade story <laughs> so as many of you already know my bigger sister converted 2015 and then my swedish cousin converted in 2016. so a bit of backstory about my sister's journey is that she was actually very very lonely in her journey to become muslim and it was a hard time to get accepted by the family and her becoming a muslim in end of 2016 her birthday was coming up and she told me that she did not want to celebrate her birthday since prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never did so so i thought what could i really give her that would mean a lot to her and i looked around in the living room and i found her diary <laughs> I'm sorry sis that I opened your diary but look at me now I'm a Muslim right so the first page in her diary she had written down Surah Al-Fatiha the first verse in the Quran and the first part that you need to learn when you need to start to pray in Islam so I got the brilliant idea to learn Surah Al-Fatiha to recite to her on her birthday since I already knew how much Islam actually meant for her, I knew that this would be the perfect gift to her to show that I'm still standing behind you and I will always support you. It took me about one month to learn how to recite Surah Al-Fatiha and then her birthday came up and I started to recite it to her and she just broke down in tears and she was so, so happy. And since that day, me and my sister has never been this close to each other. So, Alhamdulillah. So after that type of reaction, I just wanted to learn more and more about Islam. So I started to study Islam and watched plenty of videos on YouTube without anyone knowing. After a few months, I was so convinced Islam was the right thing for me and i went to my sister the day before ramadan 2017 and i told her i would want to fast tomorrow and she said well your fast will not count if you're not a muslim and then i told her that i converted the day before and that's the story <laughs>